Yes my peoples, it's T and in this video I'll be giving you an overview of Parallels Desktop 17 for the Mac. It's the latest version which lets you run native Windows apps on Macs with both the Intel chips or the newer Apple M1 and M2 chips. Today I'm using an Apple M1 chip and this software allows you to get the best of both worlds where you can literally switch between Windows and Mac OS and run them in parallel, hence the name. So when you download the trial version of Parallels Desktop 17, it comes with a handy version of Windows 11. But if this is not the case, then you will also need to get your own installation image of Windows, but that's pretty straightforward to set up. In total, mine took around two minutes to install. To get Windows up and running, it takes about two clicks. I open up Parallels Desktop, I hit the play icon, and it will resume. It all works as if Windows is an app within the Mac OS, because it's just so seamless, everything works as normal. The trackpad, the keyboard, and even the Mac keyboard shortcuts. And this is a feature I love, because it actually eliminates any confusion and allows a seamless user experience. You can still use the Windows shortcuts. If you want to, for example, I can copy and paste using Control and C, as is the case on Windows, or I can use Command and C as you do on the Mac. And as you can see, both work perfectly well. You can also access keyboard shortcuts by clicking the icon up here. And if you want to add some more, then you can just hit the customization, select Windows, and voila, simple as that. There are also some other handy things you can do. Um, there's some other tools here you can use, such as looking at the CPU usage. You can also access the task manager, and you can also configure settings for Windows such as changing the speaker, the mics and camera settings, as well as allowing Windows to access files and folders from your Mac. This greatly helps with copying files over between the two so you don't have to worry about emailing them to yourself or uploading them to your Google Drive or something. Parallel just makes it very easy and seamless. There is also a very cool feature which I like very much. It's called coherence mode. And once enabled, it makes the Windows menu and apps feel like they're actually integrated into the Mac operating system. As you can see here, you can resize the windows as you please, and it will scale accordingly as if you are literally working on one operating system. You can have your windows and your Mac side by side as if they are in one operating system but as you can see, I'm using two different operating systems here, but it doesn't actually seem that way. All very seamless and incredible, incredible. It's almost like the Windows is native within the one system. To exit coherence mode, simply right click the Windows logo, click view, and then exit. You also have a full screen mode for when you want to focus on Windows only. And then there's a picture in picture mode um, which you can see here. Um, you can choose how big you want the picture in picture to appear. And if you click the little gear icon, you can also set how transparent or opaque this window will appear when it's not active. So performance wise, um, there haven't been any issues that I've experienced. It's all been very seamless, especially on the M1 Mac. It hasn't utilized 100% um, of my CPU. Um, there hasn't been any lag and it's been working very, very smoothly. So definitely pleased about that. Another feature which I find very handy is if you haven't been actively using your Parallels Windows for a period of time, you can change this in the menu, either 30 seconds, one minute, etc. Then it will automatically pause and this will minimize the resources that are being used and therefore save you battery life, which is very, very good, very great feature there. So all in all, 
Parallels 17 desktop, having the ability to have a Windows installation and utilize that on one machine, on your Mac machine, is very handy. There's various reasons as to why you may need a Windows installation. There could be some native software which is only available on Windows, um, or you may wanna actually just test out some elements of the Windows operating system without having to buy a separate Windows device. Um, this is a very good piece of software and I can definitely recommend it and give it a jam-packed thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Now let's shut this down.